y'all. I have been shopping once again. I want to share with y'all my haul. I want to show you all the things I bought. I am so excited. The thing that kind of like inspired my Sephora purchase was this Danessa Myricks palette. This is her new groundwork palette. This is Blooming Romance. And first of all, like look at this luxe packaging. I love this like metallic faux leather type of vibe and this like plaque on the front. I don't know. It's, it looks cool to me. And we've got like these really romantic tones, right? These peachy pinks, these kind of mauve purple shades, these like deep shades down here that look brown actually like have this like purpley red lean to them. I was excited about this palette. Last year, Danessa Myricks launched Groundwork, the palette, and it was all browns. And I, I just wasn't like, wasn't thinking I was going to get a lot of use out of that because it was so brown. But I was very curious about the formula. People seem to really like it. So it was always kind of in the back of my mind because if you look at these big shades in the pan, they are creams. And then the small pans are powders. And the idea is that this is a all-in-one palette. Like you're supposed to be able to use it for everything. It says eyes, brows, face, and lips. So I'm intrigued, right? Because I'm thinking blush and shadow, which usually with pinky shadows, you could do that anyways. But I'm like brows and lips. Now these aren't going to work in my brows because I can't have these like really red warm tones. But I'm intrigued. I love makeup so much. I love testing and trying new things. I love experimenting with new formulas, new brands. I, I just love it. And y'all, let me just tell you, it was warm today. I was walking outside a lot. If my nose is getting red because my allergies are acting up or my eyes start watering, I am sorry, but I just, I, am, I enjoyed some of the sunshine today, but I can tell like, oh, my, my sinuses are just not happy allergy season, right? Yeah, let's get back to the palette, okay? I was excited. I'm like, okay, Danessa Myricks is giving color in this groundwork format. And I had to buy it. I had to buy it. So I am wearing it on my eyes today. And I do think it's going to take a few times of me playing with this palette to really get my thoughts together on it because it is new formulas. And these cream shades, they're not as like creamy, waxy, wet as the cream shades that I have from Huda Beauty and one of her holiday palettes, I forget. But they're not as cream to powder as the Natasha Denona cream to powder. So they're kind of somewhere in the middle of that. I am going to show you how I created this look today. This look is definitely a trust the process type of look. I did start with my normal eyeshadow primer and the look is going to be kind of messy until we end at this final like blown out result. But I did want to show you anyways because it was just my first time touching these shadows. And I really wanted to play with it, put my brushes in it, put it on my eyes before I swatched it or anything like that. Because I just, I was excited. I'm like, let me just see. And I really like the final results that I have. I really like my look today, but I'm even more excited about playing with this again tomorrow because I want to see, okay, now that I know, like kind of have an idea for it, I want to try it in different ways. I want to try different things. I want to pull in some of my shimmer shadows to mix with this because this for me, like an all matte eye look, this does not happen. I want some shimmer, some sparkle, some glitter. I also want to try this on the cheeks. I did not do that today, but I'm thinking why not try these as like a cream blush? We will see. I really am like really, really excited about it. I'm excited to try it more, play with it more, all of that. So the other thing I bought at Sephora was this Milk Makeup Primer. And if you have not seen this, let me just show you because I put it back in the box, but I did use it when I was getting ready today. And I don't know, like I'm curious to try it more. It's really little, right? But like, okay, let me hold up my wrist. It's like a foam, okay? 
it's a foam primer so in that way like maybe it's a little gimmicky or something I don't know like let me wipe this off okay but sometimes a gimmick can be fun and also work like just because it has something like fun and maybe that's like catchy on social media it doesn't mean that it doesn't work this says it's a weightless cloud-like foam made with turmeric extract for hydrated smooth glowy base before makeup so I'm gonna keep testing this I mean today is the first time that I've got it on so I want to use it I want to see what I think about it I really like milk makeup as a brand I mean if you've been here for a while you know the milk hydro grip primer is one of my favorite primers of all time i also really like their what it, the mattifying i want to say pore eclipse but that doesn't sound right but i love that one so i hope i will love this one. <laughs> this one <laughs> we'll see it's, but it's a glowy primer so it may be for people with more dry skin i do have very oily skin i'm living in a very humid place it is hot right now like I'm actually filming this in the evening so if I, I, don't, I don't really film in the morning so if I seem a little like different it, it is the nighttime so we'll try that glowy primer several times and I'll let you know if it works for oily skin or if it's not for me but maybe it's just for dry skin I'll let you know but it does feel pretty hydrating I will say that right off the bat okay the other thing I bought but I did not try it today because I'm thinking listen I already tried a new primer a new palette like let's wait I bought the Laura Mercier pressed powder this showed up on the Sephora app the same day the uh Danessa Myricks palette launched and this is the translucent pressed setting powder ultra blur so it does have like a puff in the bottom and then I bought the yellow shade the one that is what what color translucent honey so it's supposed to be translucent and it is okay it is but you know sometimes translucent powders can give you like a white cast so I thought let me go with the one that's a little more yellow probably be a little better for my skin tone and actually like that just kind of disappeared right let me actually grab a brush and we'll see let me wipe my brush off and we'll see kind of if I can like buff it in a little bit okay I'm gonna kind of pick it up on my brush and we'll just press it a little bit and see how this looks from side to side does it look like it mattified at all I can't tell yeah actually maybe a little bit yeah okay all right I'm excited to try this like to kind of set my face I really like pressed powders um, for like on the go but if I'm like sitting down to really do my makeup I reach for loose powders I really like to press them into the skin and like my oily skin loves that but I also like a pressed powder from time to time and especially for touch-ups like this so that's kind of what I had in mind when I bought this time will tell time will tell what we think about that one Melt Cosmetics was having a sale and I love melt lashes they had Leo lashes which were like a full very wispy lash and they had Johnny lashes which are a half lash and they were on sale so I bought three more pairs of Johnny lashes maybe not something super exciting but I love a half lash if you have never worn a false lash before and you want to try I would recommend starting with a half lash they're just they're so easy to apply I really feel like I can throw on a quick coat of mascara and stick on a half lash faster than I can like do mascara until it's built up and looking how I want it like I just feel like this is quicker and I love the melt Johnny lashes they last I have one pair that I promise you I have probably worn 25 30 times like so good I just take them off carefully and kind of carefully pull the glue off but they recently launched a new lash style called the moxie and I knew I wanted to try these I really just I'm like I'm kind of waiting for them to have like a sale or something or to come to another retailer so anyways I ended up buying two pairs I'm wearing moxie today for the first time and what I liked about Johnny and Leo lashes from melt is how light they were and how I could not feel them on my eyes like they're so 
like air light and I'm happy to say I can't feel these either like they are so light on my lash and you can tell they're not like super dramatic I mean it's a false lash but it's not super thick it's just very wispy I'm very into it very easy to put on I had to buy them and they were having a sale on lip liners I actually already have this lip liner shade but I'm like their lip liner was five dollars so I picked up I picked up another one this is what's the name of it though Familia I think yeah Familia it's a deep dark purple lip liner and I have used this shade from melt so much when I was checking out with my lashes and I saw that this was five dollars I'm like let me just grab a backup do I need a backup apparently I do you know apparently I thought I did that's what I bought from melt I had a little freak out moment <laughs> I had a little freak out moment because YSL sent me a package and they sent me four of their new love shine lip oil sticks and I'm like did this come to the wrong address who like who because these are on my Sephora loves list I want these I'm like, how is Yves Saint Laurent Beauty sending this to me? Don't laugh at me for my pronunciation, okay? I'm trying my best, but I'm just like, wow, wow, wow. I even like video messaged my friends. I was like, look at this, look at this, look at this. So look, look, I'm hitting stuff, y'all. I'm so excited. And that's not all. They sent me their Libre perfume. I'm shook shaken shocked shooketh I cannot believe it like I love fragrance I'm so excited like I'm so excited I cannot believe it I want to do like why don't we try on the four like lip oil lipsticks I know the Sephora sale is coming up and I I really just like this was a launch I'm excited for I'm excited for I know that YSL sent me two lipsticks a while ago so you may be like Heather why are you surprised but it's just like this is I, I it, it doesn't get old to me so I want to share these with y'all I don't have to share these with y'all YSL didn't tell me Heather you have to share the like they just showed up so the shade that I'm wearing right now is actually the shade what shade is it actually <laughs> so this is shade 200 and this is rosy sand it is supposed to be a peachy nude and I definitely feel like it has that peachy nude vibe I'm gonna wipe this off I am wearing it with a lip liner I'm wearing it I don't know where I put the lip liner. I will put it in the description box on the shopping thing, like whatever. I will I will make sure the information is here, but I'm gonna wipe this shade off and we'll try the other shades too. This is the shade 211. So all of these are like silver with the YSL, like this beautiful custom component. I have bought their like candy glazes before in this component and the like holiday ones that are all marbleized, beautiful. But this is a red, this is a red. Now these are lip oil sticks oh that's a pretty pretty red here is shade 211 I really like this it's like a very glossy well I mean it's a lip oil stick so it is of course very glossy it feels very hydrating and I like this red I did put on a little bit of lip liner because that's just who I am as a person I always have to have a lip liner and I'm actually really liking the kind of like desaturated purpley eye with the red lip I don't know like it's kind of working for me and this peachy blush like somehow I kind of feel like I've got a floral look going on I don't know I, I'm I don't like that okay okay like I like that let's do the other two shades together did I say though that was um 211 okay this is a pinky shade this is the shade 44 and it is a pinky nude shade again I swapped out the lip liner for something a little pinky to more go with this 
lip oil stick. I like this color too. I like this color too. But to be fair, I really like warm lip colors, cool lip colors, nudes, pinks, reds, corals, peaches. <laughs> like I just, I love to have fun with makeup. So this is beautiful. These are very comfortable, but we have one more shade. Let's lip swatch it so I can show you how they all look because in case you might be curious about these, like I was curious about these. Okay, I did not put a lip liner on with this one just because, you know, you may be thinking like, Heather, I don't wear a lip liner. Let me just see it without a lip liner. And here it is. This is, I keep like flipping. I'm like, I can't see that small. 202 peachy nude and this says it is a taupey nude and I agree I feel like this is definitely like a easy to wear type of shade for me this type of lip color will basically go with whatever look I want to do it will just flow I'm here for it I said 202 right 202 I I'm excited. I hope that my lip swatches were helpful to you because I like to see lip products on the lips. Seeing them on like an arm swatch is all fine and dandy, but seeing them on the lips to me is just so helpful. Like I want to see, I want to see. I was wearing that first shade. What was that? 200 for a little while and it didn't settle or like move outside of my lips it didn't like fall into any lines or anything so so far so good of course I like just got these in the mail today so I can't tell you like much more than you know a few hours of wear but I think I'm just gonna keep this shade on this 202 shade on I got this package from Ren and I'm really looking forward to trying this. I have several skincare products from Ren and I'm always interested when they release something new. So this is like a cool sounding product because what hooked me first, it says too sensitive to exfoliate because I told y'all like I am oily. I live in a humid place. I am like breakout prone. My skin will break out. Like it's just a fact. And then when I use like my Tetranoin and things like that, and I'm like making sure like I'm trying to get rid of any breakouts or texture or anything that can make my skin super sensitive. And then I can get like, you know, some dry flakes, especially from like this allergy season, constantly using tissues. And I have like dead skin that needs to come off and I need to exfoliate, but my skin is too sensitive to the touch to like just really scrub, you know? So that I was immediately like, oh, okay. So this says you get results in two minutes. I will be the judge of that. <laughs> but it says brighten, smooth, refine skin texture instantly. I'm going to try this. It's their, it's their... PHA exfoliating facial non stripping triple action exfoliant. I'm really, really curious. And I, like I said, I, I just threw the box. I am interested in this, particularly right now with allergy season, when right here on my nose and right around my mouth, because like I'm constantly using a tissue, I will just get like flaky skin and I hate it. Like I know that sounds awful but I hate it. So I'm going to see. It says use two to three times a week. Apply to a damp face and gently massage in circular motions. Leave on for two minutes and rinse thoroughly with warm water. It says it is good for sensitive skin. I'm going to, I'm going to see and I'll report back to y'all after I've used this, not just once or twice, but a while, you know, like probably a month and let you know what I really think. If I just see like instant quick results and it's like I need to tell somebody about this I'll like up upload a short or something where I'm like telling y'all my results but let me know if you're interested or if you have any of the same issues I do I would love to hear from you pure lace also sent me their BB cream with SPF 30 so I'm looking forward to trying this with the SPF in it because I told y'all when it is warm outside I am 
outside. Like catch me outside, reading, playing with my dog, sitting, talking with like whatever. I like to be outside and when it gets really hot, I really like to be outside. <laughs> so I am like trying my best to wear a hat, keep my face covered, use my SPF because I do not want my skin to react badly to the sun, especially because I use so much skincare on my face that can make me extra sensitive to the sun. I'm really making sure I've got my facial SPF on. So seeing the BB cream SPF 30, I'm not going to rely on this for all of my SPF when I'm like really outside. I'm going to use my normal SPF, but this on top, like it can't hurt, right? It can't hurt to have a little extra. So they sent me the shade medium tan and I know Pure Lease is a, yeah, beauty through Asian wisdom. It is like Asian beauty. It says it is a, a skin protectant. I don't know. I'm looking forward to trying this. Let's see this shade. It says for all skin types, even sensitive. So let me, let me get this little thing off. Let's see about the shade that they sent me. Oh, that, okay. Okay. That looks pretty good. Sometimes I get nervous when there's not like an undertone specified. Is it going to be so pink or is it going to be so orange? Because I have an olive skin tone that uh, kind of leans warm and sometimes things can look pink or orange on me but this looks like it's pretty neutral in tone I don't think it's necessarily olive but like I mean hand to hand like <laughs> that blended in pretty nice so okay I'm gonna try this one day this week when I'm out in the sun, I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna follow up with y'all. It says oil-free, moisturizing, natural looking coverage, matte meets glowy. That's because it's gonna be a skin like matte, right? Because if you look at my hands next to each other, maybe this one is a little more glowy, but it's not like oily looking, right? This one has the BB cream and this one doesn't. It just looks moisturized. So, okay, I'll try this out in the sun. We will see. It does say if you have normal or dry skin, wear it over your moisturizer. But if you have oily skin, wear it alone. And it says you can wear it under foundation for extra coverage. That is intriguing as well. And they sent me a little sponge. So I always need sponges. Like, look, <laughs> I literally have three in front of me because I'm like, I really need to wash them. But I just pulled out another instead. I got a package from L'Oreal. And then I'm going to show you something else I bought, but let me show you because I'm planning to use this tomorrow. I got this today. This is the L'Oreal L5 Hyaluron Pure. That's a mouthful. Oil Erasing Scalp Serum. So this you put on your scalp and it's supposed to really remove all like any buildup. So like a clarifying treatment. And I need to dye my roots. Like my natural hair color is light, like a dishwater blonde type of color. And I dye it this dark and my roots, it's, it's time for them to be covered. So before I dye my hair, I need to wash it and make sure it's clean. Okay. Cause I'm going in with color and I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this to make sure my hair is clean so I can, I'm going to know. I'm going to know if it works. So with that, there are like a shampoo and where is it? Conditioner. And it says this, it's the 72 hour purifying shampoo and rehydrating conditioner. And I'm intrigued because this says it's for oil, oily scalp and dry hair. I have exactly that. My hair is naturally wavy with some curly bits that haven't been damaged by heat over the years. A few pieces are curly, but it's mostly wavy. So if you know, wavy curly hair is prone to be more dry. It's science. And that that's what I have, but I do have a very oily scalp. So I told y'all I'm loving that L'Oreal clarifying shampoo, the one in the blue bottle. So I'm, I'm looking forward to trying these. And then they sent me their like hydrating line too, the Elvive Hyaluron Plump hydrating conditioner and 
hydrating shampoo to hydrate and plump I guess for like volume which I'll try that too but I think before I dye my hair I'm going to do the clarifying and then after I dye it I can use the hydrating because there's also this it says dry dehydrated hair so you use it as a moisturizer for your hair which I told y'all I've got dry ends so all the moisture I can get I will take I'll be using these I'll follow up I love a good drugstore shampoo. I really do. I really do. So I am looking forward to trying specifically that oil scalp treatment thing and the clarifying shampoo. I bought this bag from Free People. This is massive, right? This is massive. But look, like it's got these pockets. It's got like these big pockets. It's got pockets inside. It's got two pockets inside and it's like quilted and it's green, my favorite color. It's got two pockets on the outside. I bought this from Free People and I had been kind of looking at possibly getting a big like carry bag like this because I need something to like carry on with me when I'm traveling or if I'm just going for like a night away like next weekend I'm gonna be out of town I gave a life updates video not too long ago I'll link it but my kid has some things going on next weekend we're gonna be traveling taking a little road trip and we're not gonna be gone very long so I'm like I need a bag something like that and in December when I went to Vegas with my sister-in-law, she had that bag. She had it in a different color, but I was like, I really like that. That's really cute. And she was like, look at these pockets, look at this. So I've kind of had it in the back of my mind. And then when this like trips came up that I've got going on, I'm like, you know, I'm going to buy that bag. So I texted her. I was like, tell me the bag. I want to buy the bag. I saw they had it in green. I bought it from free people. And I'm so excited to use it. I think it's so cute. I love that color. I will link it and everything I talk about down below. If you don't want to click my links, that's completely fine. I will link it, like list it all too for y'all. But I'm really excited about that. I love that sage green color. I think it's going to go with everything I have. Everything, everything, everything. And if I love it, I'm considering getting like the neon orange too. Because I also feel like neon... Is a neutral like it goes with everything for me in my world so that's that's everything I have to haul I did want to quickly like go through a couple of things on my wish list because th there's a couple of things on my wish list so if you didn't know my bestie Aniela Kanikvis has her own brand she has brushes and they are amazing brushes if you watch any of my videos you see me using these and singe beauty is having a sale for their one year like one year birthday and i'm gonna be shopping the sale i bought three sets of her first launch of her eye brushes she sent me her face brushes and I need another set of those face brushes so I'm gonna be shopping the sale I'll put the details like in the description box I also try to do a pinned comment but you can see the details of this sale 20% off is a good sale and I can assure you she worked hard on these brushes these were not pick brushes out of a catalog type of brushes these are specifically designed brushes like I know how hard she worked on this brush in particular the F07 but I will tell you I am planning to pick up two of these F05s and I know you're like it's just a large powder brush but there is something about the way this like buffs in finishing powder for me that I, I just can't get enough of it picks up the Dior powder no powder if you have that powder you know that is a powder that is so amazing but the texture is weird compared to other powders and not all brushes will pick it up this picks it up while still being fluffy and like I don't know I love it I don't know what she did but I love it okay I love it so I'm gonna buy two of those for sure <laughs> So I've seen a couple of y'all ask me, am I going to review Adept's palette? When am I reviewing Adept's palette? 
why haven't I talked about it up to palette? Like, why don't I have a video? Why haven't I shown? I don't have it yet, okay? I don't have it. As soon as I have Cyborg Choir, I I'm going to put it on my face. Like, look at it. Of course. I love Adept. I cannot wait. I know this is coming to me. I don't know exactly when it's going to get here. I need to check my tracking, but bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be putting it on my face when it gets here. It is available now. My affiliate code Heather will give you a discount if you want to shop Adept. I will, of course, like put all that information in the description box. I'm so pumped for this palette. You don't even know. Today, Today, Lunar Beauty is launching the new collection. It's like this mushroom theme and I love it. I feel like this color story is so unique and different for Lunar Beauty. I love the yellows and greens together. If you watch my channel at all, you know some of my top favorite palettes are palettes that have these like olivey, yellowy greens, these like green neutrals, olive neutrals. My collab palette that I did with Adept, I have like a dark green and this like swampy green. My Natasha Denona Yucca palette, like I love these types of colors. And the fact that we have this like blurple, blue purple type of shade in there, I, we have like deep tone. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I don't know if Lunar Beauty is going to send this to me or not. I am an affiliate. My code is Heather. It will give you a discount. I honestly, I, I don't care. I'm going to buy it if he doesn't send it to me. Like I have to have it. I bought all of Lunar Beauty launches before I became an affiliate. Like I love the brand and that highlighter palette, <sighs> the way I was like eh, when I saw it because <laughs> I love Lunar Beauty highlighters and we haven't had them in so long and new lip products. I love Lunar Beauty lip glosses with a passion. They're so comfortable and thin and watery and perfect and everything about them is wonderful. So I'm excited about that. So I wanted to kind of touch on that on my little wish list and let you know that Odin's Eye is going to be doing mystery boxes. They usually do these around Easter and they are usually always made up of existing products, not new products. If you've wanted to try Odin's Eye, this can be a really good time. So I wanted to let you know, I do have a full playlist on these brands I'm talking about if you want to see, but Odin's Eye is gonna do a $45 box and then you can use a code on top. So you could use code Heather, get it for a discount and you get $90 worth of products. They're also gonna have a $75 box use your discount code, get it for cheaper, and then you get $170 worth of products. If you like hauls, please do like this video. I am going to link my haul playlist for you right down here. If you wanna see me testing any new makeup, I'm gonna link a video for you right here so we can hang out even longer. Just click on one of those and yeah, we'll get to keep on talking.